Hey everyone, I just got off work and I thought it'd be fun to just spend the rest of the evening learning React and like actually learning it instead of just going down tutorial hell or blindly jumping into a project. It's interesting because I've tried to like jump into React Native without learning React first and it was like, it was okay. <laughs> But I definitely noticed gaps in my knowledge and it was a really big struggle. So I don't think that was a smart thing to do. I feel like there are benefits to just jumping straight into a project, but I do think you kind of need like baseline knowledge before that type of learning is the most productive. But today I just want to learn and I think I'm gonna consult Reddit <laughs> and see what people have to say about the best way to learn React is. And the ultimate goal is to eventually be able to build anything my heart desires, which is <laughs> like such a far away thing for me right now, but hopefully we'll get there one day. It might be in a while, but eventually. Part of why I want to learn this too is in my last video, I used only AI to build a web app. And while it was a fun little day project for me and I got to learn how to draw a little bit, I've been really thinking about a lot of the feedback I got when it comes to security and privacy and creativity and using AI responsibly. Like the app I made had a lot of security issues. I'm sure if I built it myself, it would also have security issues, but that's just because I'm kind of new to this. And I really just want to emphasize that while AI is a cool tool and it can be really helpful when it comes to things like doing the repetitive tasks you don't want to do or generating boilerplate code, but it's really not a replacement for developers, at least not right now. And it's also not a replacement for real understanding of what's going on. That's another big reason why I really want to take a step back and learn the fundamentals rather than just jumping in or just blindly using AI to code something. Else. I really want to make sure that I have the skills down so that I can build something and truly call it my own. Okay, so I've consulted my most trusted source, Reddit, and it seems like the most recommended resources are the official documentation and also Scrimba. I haven't heard of Scrimba before, but um, I took a quick look at it and it looks like a video slash hands-on sort of platform. So it says, welcome to the Ultimate React 101 course designed with MDN web docs. It's the perfect place to learn modern React basics interactively. You'll tackle 170 plus coding challenges and build six projects, gaining confidence and create real world applications. I think my struggle sometimes is I either get trapped in like only watching videos where I just copy the code or I like do a project but I don't really have the project fully planned out and then I just feel sort of lost. So I think I'm gonna give Scrimba a go because it seems like it's a video along with like the coding challenges so it's not just like copying the code in the video. So I'm gonna give this a go. I hope it works and the whole thing's supposed to take 15 hours. I'm just gonna check out the first couple lessons to see if it's something that I think I can stick with. Cause that's the other thing. I feel like I start things and then I never ever finish. Like I always fall off. For example, like I know the Odin project is really good for web dev. I fell off and I feel like I've restarted it like so many times. And then every time I restart, it's like the stuff I already know. And that's not productive either. So I gotta figure out how to learn better. Either way though, I'm gonna give this a go. Hopefully I'll be able to stick with it. Besides this, people were just recommending the docs. So maybe if I don't like Scrimba, I'll just go and review the docs. All right, I'm gonna get to work. It's displayed to the page. Then in section three, we are put into it the more you're going to get out of it. Which is why I've adopted a saying that doing. I like to say that nobody ever becomes a concert pianist by simply watching YouTubes about playing piano. And while we find new things, and most importantly, you're not being graded. No one is going to be hovering on your shoulder and judging your performance. Making mistakes isn't going to
your heart is made of stone All my tears, they fall like rain Yet you leave me here alone I give you all I have inside You pretend it's all pretend Your empty eyes, they break me down Though this torment never end Endless pain, it's all I know Okay, so I've been at it for a while now. I've made it through about 11 mini lessons. And honestly, I really like this learning platform. You can like watch a video and then do the challenges right in the browser. A lot of the video is very interactive. Like you can copy the code in the video, you can click the links, you can click the images. So that's really cool. I will say, I feel like the stuff I've been learning is... We, we really started from the beginning, which I appreciate. So like learning what React is, like is it a framework, is it a library, and why we like to use React, the ideas of composability. It's pretty much only been learning about how to like set a React app up from scratch, which I think it's actually very important to be able to understand that. If you can do it from scratch, that means you understand all the moving parts and how things interact with each other. I also don't want to rush through it. So this first static pages section, it says 2.4 hours, which knowing myself, it's probably gonna take me like three to four hours. <laughs> but I also don't want to just like cram and do everything right now because then I won't actually retain it. So I think as a goal for tonight, I'm gonna try to finish up the static pages section. It says I'm 32% of the way there. So I'll do that. And I think there's like a little mini project at the end, so. Hopefully I'll be able to finish that. But yeah, I'm gonna take a break now. Go outside, come back, and get back to it. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing the exercise and this mock-up is like what we're trying to recreate back in the challenge. But look at all these people. This is so fun. This is kind of reminding me of school a little bit because I just got a pop quiz and it's just asking some questions about React. Like the first question is, where does React put all the elements I create in JSX when I call root.render? Or this last question is, what does it mean for something to be composable? I find this is a good way to learn and it definitely reminds me a little bit of when I was in school. Never mind, no pop quiz for me because I got hit with the subscribe page. Um, hmm. There are so many free resources out there that I'm not sure I want to pay for this just yet. Although, I do think this is a pretty solid resource. Okay, well... Okay, I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll start just reading the docs. Tired, and I think I'm gonna call it a night because I'm 
getting kind of annoyed every time the subscription page pops up. So I can still do the challenges, but I'm just gonna wait and do the rest when I'm a little less tired and a little more patient. All in all, I enjoyed learning React today. I feel like I kind of just learned the very basic things that I should have known before jumping into React. Because I think it's one thing to be able to know how to use something, but another thing to like understand the why, the how, just the deeper level of it and I think when you have both together that's when you're able to achieve a fuller understanding of whatever subject you're learning like not even just when it comes to programming even in my bio days I feel like to understand a concept I wouldn't try to memorize because also I just have like a really terrible memory but I would just kind of try to ask myself why something works and how something works and I feel like that let me actually understand a concept versus just trying to memorize it but I feel like I've lost a lot of that since graduating I feel like I'm just not as like curious about how things work and I don't spend as much time with something. I just wanna like be able to do something like right now. Like I wanna be able to just boom, build an app. And I feel like where I'm at now, like I can just like create something, but it won't, it won't be good. <laughs> I would cut corners and I wouldn't fully understand why it works. So I think this was helpful. I know this is kind of like a different type of coding video and I didn't really fully build out a project, but um, I want to just have more sessions like this where I can sit down and like spend some time and slow down and actually learn. I do also want to like keep on building projects because I do think that's also a really great way to learn with the condition of actually understanding what's going on. So I do feel very embarrassed that I like don't know some of this stuff, but I know that's also just a part of the learning process and these things take time and these things take reps and I don't think I've put in the time or the reps, so that is on me. Anyways, I'm getting sleepy, so I'm probably gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know this is a different type of video, so let me know if you don't want to see these and you'd rather see projects. Happy to do either, happy to do both, and I'll make sure to keep you guys posted on how the React learning goes. Until then, happy learning, and let me know what you guys are working on down in the comments. It could be like projects, or even if it's just learning a new skill like I am. Well, good night, good morning, or good afternoon, wherever you might be. I will see you later. Bye!